teams banning Welcome back every time buddy to this match we have Vega Squadron versus Santic. So far it's been a one for one in this open qualifier for the e -sportal. This is open qualifier number four. This is the last one and both of the teams are fighting for uh, well their tournament live here. And uh, Vega was able to really well, just dominate in the first match and just won the match quite easily. Centic, they made a little bit more of an early game draft and a little bit more aggressive. The second match and they got away with it. The game still went about 30 to 40 minutes but they were able to grasp the win there. And now we're back for the third match in this best of three. Yeah, let's just take a look at what we all have here so far in regard of the picks and all those other good stuff. So for now we have uh, Mech. Well, Mech, Mech, uh, he can just stand up, go away because his hero is already picked. We have the Beastmaster here for him already. Same goes for no one. Queen of Pain, one, uh, just a hero that he has replayed already thousands of times now. Because of uh, just the hero, you know. Reserve time. Just always picked up. It's just versatile and it can just do so much for your team as well. And with the pure damage there, it's Witch Doctor. just it's a good hero. And yeah, then we're going to look at Santic. Oh, they pick up the Gyrocopter now. Last match it was uh, taken up by Vega, but it felt a little bit underwhelming. And they also actually pick up the Clockwork here. Okay, so the... Where's the Quop? Well, the Quop can get out. Beastmaster is a little bit... Yeah... He has maybe a little bit of a tougher time dealing with it. Which Doctor? Well, yeah, he would just get killed. <laughs> yeah, no... Nothing to say about that. That's just how it will go. And Tusk... Five oh, Tusk? Remaining. I like Tusk. It's fun. Problem is... Just a Tusk with no follow-up. It's a little bit... Eh. Do you want to take like the Clockwork with you into Snowball? And Gyrocopter with Rocks Bro? Or do you, you kind of want something extra. You want like... What would you like? A nice crush from Starter is always cool. Centaur Stomp also works fairly well. Just anything that needs to be actually close range to get off with. That's just a great setup to use the uh, snowball for that. Those are like the kind of things that I'm looking at. So um, we might just see something really aggressive here coming out of Centix and something out of the box because. Well, why not? Why don't throw a curveball at Vega and see how they will cope with it? Because it is, it is your last match. Just go out with a bang. Go all in. No regrets. And yeah. That's uh, what I'm going to say for them. And we're going to see what they're going to pick up. And with this, they're going to pick up a Skyrath. So this is going to be a Tusk and Skyrath mage. Um, supporting duo for now. And yeah, this is uh, it's a strong duo. They can keep, uh, they should be able to keep Mag out of the lane, especially with all those arcane balls flying at his way. It's not, uh, not going to be fun for him <laughs> at all, to be quite honest. Phantom and yeah, this is uh, Radiant Team. Barry this can really just harass Mag. This is usually he's known for having a good uh, laning phase with his off lane uh, Beastmaster, but this may, might actually throw a little bit of a well. This is going to be tougher. But they pick up the PL here. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, P uh, Clockwork. He's not going to catch if you are out. The uh, Skyrim Mage, you have to randomly guess which of the... Or which of the uh, illusions is the correct one. And that's actually not that easy to do here. They need something like a feel or something. Gyrocopter versus PL. Well, it's always the mismatch for a PL. Gyrocopter wins that. They should be able to win it. But if BL is farmed enough, Gyrocopter doesn't have his he can be or anything yet. He can actually be overrun a little bit, but essentially just speaking from just how the heroes work, Gyrocopter versus BL, Gyrocopter should win it 9 out of the 10 times. And that's... I just hope that we're going to see that now again. Or not. Hmm. I actually want to see PL win, just, I just like PL a little bit more to play than Gyrocopter. Especially with those, you know, once it was reworked, it's a little bit more aggressive and those kind of things, and I like it. It's Antic, they ban out the uh, the Shadow Demon, they've seen enough of him. 
They're done with it. They're gonna bend it out. Leave it there. Same goes for essentially the whole. All of the picks <laughs> are are support picks. Uh, or bends. I mean, are all just bends. All bends support. Okay. And apart from the IO, they're all intelligence as well. Well, Vega, well, they got a nice mishmash of uh, bands. They got some agility heroes. And uh, intelligence in there as well, so. It's good, it's good. A bit of a mishmash there more, and. Uh, yeah. We're gonna look at what they're gonna be betting up lastly. That's gonna be uh, a mid hero, Viper. I can see why this is not something you want to be fighting into against as well as it's a lane dominator and might make Queen her life a little bit harder but Sentic says screw that we're gonna combo we're gonna do a Skyrim <laughs> Mystic Flare into a duel man this do combo I haven't seen in a while though I'm looking forward this should be really fun to see how this will end up and uh, yeah, they're gonna end this one up with the Keeper of the Light, played by Solo. Uh, we had this one earlier today in the Mountain Troll Challenge as well, versus uh, Shadow uh, Scary Faces, I mean. And the, he was huge, like, poor support, he had over seven less hits a minute, which is just, which is just, honestly, it's just crazy. And we'll see how he's gonna keep this one up then. Versus the uh, easy commander though. Hmm. Blinding light. Actually can is able to save the duels a little bit. Although it, it won't get out the mystic flare there. This is going to be another uh, game filled with, uh, with glimmer caves. Yeah. They just want to make sure that the duels aren't that easily won by, uh, by Santic. And well, let's just go over the lineup. But we have a little bit of time here. We have, of course, Sima the Slayer on the Witch Doctor here. For Vega on the Dire side, we have no one played playing the Queen of Pain for the middle lane. We have Mech playing the off lane Beastmaster, one of his signature heroes. I would say Solo playing a Keeper of the Light. He's already impressed with me with this one a lot today. Ed Pesha, he's going to be playing the safe lane PL. Then, for the side of Centic, we have RJ playing the Skyrev Mage. We have Fizek playing the Offlane Clockwork, not on a uh, Wind Runner now. And we also have the ZJK playing the Support Task here. We have Boba Bob playing the mid lane Legion Commander. He's going to be up versus the Queen of Pain. It's actually a pretty favorable lane. Well, actually, press the attack and get the. Uh, the debuff off, so hmm, I'm actually wondering how it will end up in the end. Essentially, it's a leaf versus range, so range should win, so Pop should have the edge anyhow. And then we have, last but not least, we have YFX playing the Gyrocopter. And yeah, we're gonna have some uh, maybe some aggressive movements here coming out. Uh, while Santic is gonna go and invade the enemy Vega jungle here. Are they able to find somebody though? Solo is a little bit of an odd spot here though. He needs to walk away. Yeah, there you go. Walk up to the high ground here. Get some more vision and... Pesha, you can just put him down here. He can doppelganger out if need be. But yeah, that was all of the movement there. They don't really want to... Oh, do they? They want to commit for more. ZJK, he's walking behind here. Oh, he finds... Well, he runs into everybody here. He needs to start running away. Elim eliminating... Yeah, he's gonna miss... Gask is gonna bounce and well not. Ooh, that's actually really good overwhelming odds. No one, he's just caught out now. He's running. This is distant. There's gonna be a rocket barrage into him. Yeah, this is just gonna end up with a lot, a lot of just harassments all the way through. And Ensec, yeah, he keeps everybody out with uh, the cocks here. But Mac, he got what he wanted. <laughs> he got his bot lane rune. And. Yeah, the creeps are just going to be really favorable for him because there's no one on his lane right now. This ends up being one for one trade and a lot of arrestments again just going both sides. And this is just going to be fun to see. I'm really interested in this mid uh, lane to be honest. Like, who's going to win this? So far no one, he's really, well... <laughs> being uh, put down on Archie, just 
Rest out overwhelming us do a lot of damage and he has blink level one, so yeah, he's not gonna do a lot of these levels versus Bobo Bo now. Yo Bobo, just fine here. We're gonna do another double dual lane here. Okay. Oh, Kask bouncing to the creeps, okay. Bottle blast not really uh well it just hits uh and sec, but is gonna be the end of it. Now they're just starting to farm away a little bit more solo. He's cool. He got his Coddle, I'm just gonna expect him to get like a lot of CS starting to, starting to uh, attack the jungle up a little bit more. And oh no, they're gonna go in on Meg here. He's gonna get a rocket barrage into his face. They don't have a snowball to follow this up, so he can just walk out of here. No one, he's gonna blink aggressively forward. He's just gonna kill off this courier here. Bo Bo Bo, he's not gonna be happy with this. He just tries to man fight for the same right now, and he's not getting... Well, anything, he has to start running away. He will be able to heal himself up, though, with the bottle, as well as uh, the potion that he has. Still, that was really tough, and... I forgot to mention this, we have an old-school combo, of course, here with the Coddle and the... Uh, as well as the Phantom Lancer mech. He, so far, is actually doing fine. He has eight less hits. Two denies versus the... Well, now nine. Versus the ten of, of the... Uh, Gyrocopter here, so... Hmm. Bobo Bobo? No one, he has a DDD, so Bobo, he has to look out. And he knows he's standing a little bit more foot towards the back, though he has help here from two of his supports. There is a snowball on us, but as long as no one doesn't blink aggressively forward, he should be able to get out. Asian Seal is not there yet. It should be able to get out of here. They don't really have enough lockdown to keep him down, and I don't think they can burst him either. That's yeah, they have, they're gonna rotate out. We're gonna start stacking the jungle here with AJ. Blockwork, he got harassed out pretty heavily out of his lane, has to use his health potion here. Yeah, and Pesha, he's just uh, top of the leaderboards together with uh, with YFX. Yeah, the boar, yeah, he's gonna spot out that JX there. All of these <laughs> letters is always. Alts are a little bit hard to keep up with from time to time and Lensec He's near creep. Yeah, this is actually a good way to uh, to cask on him as long as the cask are a little bit luckier But they are not he gets off the battery assault Maledic's on him though, but he's just able to survive Ooh, Cuddle Blast it hits him, but it does no almost no damage at all and we're gonna have a little bit of a pause here Okay Go is it? I I'm honestly don't know what this letter means. No, no, okay, no. No what? Sorry, go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go in again. <laughs> it was a little bit uh, odd there. I don't think they meant to uh, to pause there. But it's fine, we're all back into it again. It just took us like five seconds out of this uh, thing. No one? Lydigo versus Bobo 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 Bo has to start taking some steps back and he gets another scream on his way out into his face and it's something he likes. Mac, they're trying to arrest him out with ZJK but he just doesn't have enough strength to do that. So far though the... What? Snowball, boss. I see him as a slayer. And he has disconnected. Yeah, let's take a closer look at this through a first person perspective. He gets a pretty big snowball here <laughs> coming after him. But yeah, let's see. And the snowball shouldn't stun him down for too long. Was it 1 point something ish? Even less. 0 0.5. My bad. 1 point. That was with 1.2. It was already maxed then. Hmm. Jaro, he has his boost, but I don't think he's actually able to get there in time. Max should be able to run out. And with these two boars here, you might actually be able to turn around a little bit if uh, if YFX doesn't walk in. Yeah, bow bow bow, he's not close enough to get off anything. AJ, gonna TP back in the pool. Block okay as well. Okay, we have to reconnect here as well, so we're soon gonna be ba get back into it. Let's take a quick look at the last hit so far. Essentially, it's, it's pretty much the same everywhere, part that mech just got a lot more than the uh, than the clockwork. That's the only big difference here. 
And even then, they're about the same level. Three to five. No, actually not. Mag really won this offlane in comparison to the Clockwork. And the Clockwork even got help from the Skyrim. And there you go. He can just start running out. Yeah. Darocopter did walk in there, but <laughs> it was really just to no feel. Yeah, Fensek, he tries to go into the portal, onto the PL, but PL. He just has his doppelganger and yeah, he just goes out easily. They're just farming this one away. Fensek. Yeah, just uh, making sure that his mana is low there with, uh, with the cogs. He's used by no one. He wants to go for ZJK. He doesn't have anything. He can't short. He can't snowball either. Bo Bo Bo. He needs to use press attack on him to save him there. And that's just gonna be enough. There you go. Was close, but just in time. And oh no. They get a kill on top. They kill off Fensec. Kill taken by uh, Asima here. Just, yeah, I'm gonna assume it was uh, Maledic killing him off there. This is, yeah, the first blood until you support it. Could be worse. But I think they always want to have it on the PL first. And he's he's going to build a, uh, a Vladimir's here. Already in the makings. He got his Basilius. He is building towards a headrest now. He just need a Morbid Mask. The Sage Mask as well as the... Uh, it's a recipe and then he's all set and he can just start farming the jungle. Are there some stacks here? There's no stack. Yeah, we have a... This is a triple stack for Solo. He does need an extra level or two. <laughs> it's a got all blessed there before he's able to take this one away. And yeah, he also just gets a bless out there. Taking it easy. We run the race rune for no one. Might look to be a little bit aggressive here. But he has to look out because Bobo Bo does have a, uh, a duel. And he's gonna look for someone to duel. They find Solo. Solo is just able to get past there. And yeah, he uses Overwhelming Up to get that kill. No duel victory or duel even attempted there. So it's a nice kill for them. And Sentic is on the board now as well. One for one. No one. He walks in the rescue fort. He might just get dueled here. And he will. There's gonna be Skyrim in as well. Short. And, oh, he was just able to survive through the duel. He will die after that, though, but... Still means no extra damage so far for uh, Legion Commander here. Russia. Oh, he just went for the threats first. Okay, that's fine. Solo takes over middle. Bobo Bo, he's looking for the uh, team of the Slayer. And, and they know that there are stacks here. They're gonna take up this medium camp first. And I don't think they saw the uh, the hard camp here. And yeah, I think Vega realizes they need to take this uh, this one before they notice it. They're actually gonna look for someone on the who's left behind, but uh, they went back structured. No one left behind. Everybody is still. And oh, Fensek, he's gonna go on. He gets a spirit lens to the face and just doppelganger out here from Pasha. He has no mana. That's actually uh, you can actually kill him. Here. Hookshot? No, he's not still only level 4 and AJ is also going back to base, so... That was the kill I was talking about and not gonna happen. Go for it, yeah. But to all of this, YVX, he has been able to just keep on farming here on the... Yeah, onto the... Yeah. His bot lane, as well as the jungle a little bit now. He's not gonna get this rune, Mac is able to snatch this one up and he will start running away now. He's building up towards his uh... Top tower is under attack. He's up, yeah, starting to build up towards his Necrobook here and... No one, oh, they're running towards him. I want to do him in again. Is there is backup here behind him and... Oh, pressure. He's actually still really low. But yeah, there's no one there yet. They're gonna smoke, they wanna get Mac or... No, they're actually drawing towards no one. They want to get no one. They're going to use a snowball or... Going to walk behind Mac here. Or down. In the rotating bottom. They want to get him. No, and it's in the vicinity though. Might be able to turn this one around. 
They don't see Mech yet. Okay, now they do. They're gonna go for him. No one. He is outside of range. They don't see him yet. It's gonna be spotted. There's gonna be the roar in. Oh, this is like a gank or two. A gank here. There's gonna be the duel onto Mech. Is Mech gonna survive through this? Yes, he is. So far, it's a buff of one trade. Does that do to the Sonic Wave of no one? Bo Bo Bo. He's taking a lot of damage. No one. Rocket Barrage is gonna kill him off, though. Double kill. For both YFX as well as no one. And now Witch Doctor, he goes level 6, he got a cask, uh, cask. he got Death Ward. And yeah, they're all just back to farming now. And Overwhelming Odds used to kill off uh, the PL here, he was still lingering around below HP. Does he have a duel? He doesn't, but he will just start chipping away at the cult right here. 100 HP duel in 6 seconds, 5 seconds. Kotor wants a last hit, Kotor gets a last hit, solo, and Overwhelming God kills him off. Middle, no one, he's gonna get a snowball into his face, and he's just gonna blow up uh, the task here with his uh, scream. No one, oh, he gets hookshot on, he has one more second left before he can blink, he can blink out now, and he's able to do it. There's a duel, he needs to get a little bit closer. Yeah, there you go, he's gonna get it off, he's gonna get the kill now. He still has zero duel damage, <laughs> well... They do keep on getting kills with the duels, but just all the time after it. Death Warp views. Bow 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 taking a lot of damage. Even the Slayer, he's actually gonna fall first. Bow Bow will fall after this as well. No, he uses his bottle, so he's able to lift through this. Now Solo actually falls. 3 for 0 trade. Double kill going the way of YFX. Also getting a dominating streak. However, he might die here to Mech. What? He TP'd and he stopped it and started running away. And now he is still dead. Dominating streak ended. 627 gold going the way of Mech here. Well, Pesha, he's just farming up the top lane. He got his Morbid Mask now. His, uh, his Felimese is also pretty much done there. So, Yeah, that's uh, still in the favor of Sandiki. Although they did lose her uh, area there. I'm just reading a little bit in the chat here. It's pretty quiet here on the Mount channel. They're talking a little bit about the Dota 1 days of... Uh, oh, blink! <laughs> but he already doppelgangered out. So no duel for the Eagle Commander and he is still at zero duel damage. 11, well actually 12 minutes in pretty much. Fun chatting about Dota 1 still. I'm looking a little bit about it. And yeah, they're gonna try and maybe get this uh, bottom tower here. They have an uh, Necro book already completed on mech. There's gonna be a TP in though from, uh, from FYX. He <laughs> just got clipped by the, uh, the Cotto Blast here. And the TP in top, the Death Ward is doing a lot of damage to Boba Bo. And well, now it's just gonna continue on to Fensack. And he's also gonna take a spell without taking. Well, he's actually gonna take Solo with him. He gets a dual kill. And still no dual damage there for, uh, for the poor <laughs> old Legion commander here. And now they're gonna go on to Z. Oh, he actually gets a kill on to Mac there. There we go. 3 for 2 trade all across the board. Sending Centic again having the better trades, although I <laughs> no dual damage for this <laughs> Legion Commander, and I think he's really is really starting to hate that. I really think he wants it. Oh no. So far, Vega, they're doing okay-ish. Well, yeah, they're 1500 I think gold. And as well as... A uh, little bit of uh, XP in the way of Santic. Nothing really favoring anybody in Neverworth so far. YFX, he's, uh, he's ahead. 600 gold onto the uh, BL. Let's see. About 500 ahead of it, but after that you have uh, four people of Vega, so... It's not a big lead, essentially one team fight just turns it around for either, for your team. And also no towers taken yet, well actually the top tower has been taken, but that's actually it so far. No one, does he have a blink? No he doesn't, there was an aggressive blink him. From him, somewhere for some reason, and because of that he just dies now to Fensec. Together with YFZ, and 
Did he win the duel? No, he still didn't win the duel. He did get it off again, but BL died, but he wasn't able to get another no damage for him. Death Forge used onto Baobabo. He, however, Sima gets silenced and not able to get off a, a big duration there. Ro is used on Ajay. Ajay is going to take a fall, a fall here. They're going to look for Baobabo here, but are they able to find him? Blink Dagger in one. He blinks away. He is safe. He is safe, guys. Close for him, but again, this fight again just favored uh, Centic. But still, same old, same old. No extra damage there for uh, the Legion Commander. Oh, that uh, sucks for him, <laughs> to be quite honest. Already 15 minutes in, and so far, you usually already have about 30 plus damage or so. Especially when you have a Skyrath in your team, just the combo with the Mystic Flare duel is just, just too big in the early game. Those are just really easy kills with. Every time they can <laughs> just survive through the duel on the nick of the teeth. Nick of the skin. <laughs> I'm not completely sure about that uh, expression. And yeah, they just keep on doing this. And yeah, with this, yeah, with the Cotal Blast, he can just keep on defending the towers at all times. Or he just starts farming away. To put 8k on him, he's starting to build up towards his Aghanims now. We have three people here uh, gather from Centic, but not really doing a lot since they guys are splitting up too much, trying to farm everywhere into the jungle as well. Well, there's some bots. That's like he might look for initiation here, but there is, of course, the Beastmaster mech behind this. Your green news. Something bad is happening in your bottom. Bad dudes, middle tower, everyone, go! Oh, yeah. Oh, Mac already got this. Uh... Level 2 Necrobook here, and oh no, bo bo bo, he... Okay, he's not gonna take the duel here in. He, they're just gonna go out, they're too close to the tier 1 and they, they don't wanna risk anything with TP rotations for now. So far it's a little bit, uh, a little bit of stalemate, they're both just looking at things and trying to get pickoffs here. Aghanims is, oh no. I just missed a kill here on the... Uh, on to solo. YFS is gonna get a kill and they're just gonna trans, uh, transition this into a uh, tier 1 push. We'll see if Vega is able to defend this. They did lose their call now and it's like the big counter push here for the, uh, for the creep clear and... Mech is rotating bottom but if it's just him alone they should be able to get this tower. Oh, on top lane, they're actually gonna go in. Is it gonna be the duel off onto Pasha? Yeah, there is. Are they gonna kill him off here on time? No, they're not. He's gonna survive through this duel again. Oh, there's gonna be the... Well, the Tusk <laughs> Tuscar punch, but it doesn't matter. There's a double kill coming the way of no one here already, guys. And Pasha. He got his Yasha. He got his, uh, his Manta. He's doing fine, and now they're going in a bot already. Pasha get, does get an Ascent Seal and... Well, the rocket barrage really much just really clips all the, uh, the creeps there. Not doing a lot. Mech did die here, and they did take the tier one tower. And oh, well, I think he tries to go in again. He has his rocket barrage. He has his uh, black cannon as well. And he's doing a lot of damage here. Pasha's actually going to take a fall here, and, and YFX is still alive. Solo, he's really low, and he's going to take a spill here as well. Killing spree on YFX. Whoa. That just uh, turned from not good into terrible for uh, for Vega there. And now, yeah, he's he is now really far ahead on the gyrocopter wife, is it? What's he going to be starting to build up next? Well, he has a lot of options, so. We might see the BKB first, though there's already a lot of clear damage. And actually, the BKB is not that good this match. Never mind, that's sorry about it. Mm, he might just even up force the tank first just to get a little bit more uh, HP or maybe even a butterfly. And there's a lot of options for him to go through. They're looking for the tier 1 hero middle right now. 
Barsha, he might be going for a defuse on next turn. Banta, let's, let's see what he goes for. Bottle. Best. And not hitting Bobo. Bo. But his illusions keep his uh, blink of uh, cooldown at all times. On cooldown, I mean. Oh, Tusk, he has to snowball, get out. Okay, he runs up there, we'll leave him alone. Just gonna kill this uh, illusion here. So far, four people from Vega are uh, on middle, while Mac is just uh, split pushing here with his uh, Necro units. No one, is he also gonna come here? No, he's just gonna farm the jungle for now. I just believe in Solo, his, uh, his Coddle Blast here to keep all the, the creep waves out. Oh, no! They just found Solo here. Duel as well. This is gonna be the first damage going the way of Bobo. His level 2 duel giving him 14 plus damage and... He should be happy about this. His first duel victory of the match here. But yeah, they also transitioned into a tier uh, 1 here. Well, uh, Vega is trying to push out the tier 2 here on bot. They just get about half of the tower or so. It's actually going to be completed uh, Necro Book level 3 here already on Mech and no one. He uh, He's about eh, 400 off of his second names. Parsha. He's building up towards his Diffusive Blade now. Still eh, pretty far off. Mm, yeah, about 1.3k. Shima, what does he have? He's building towards his Aghanims. About 3k off there and so low. He's, he's doing the same for now, but... He's not close enough there either. Oh. Uh, it's a little bit going down, down. Oh, invisibility rune. Bow, bow, bow. Ah, he just saw no one blink away from there. And even Aja, he was in position there. He might actually find uh, Arsha here. I just see him, but Pasha, yeah, he thinks, oh, hello, free kill here. There's going to be the overwhelming odds. And Pasha, he just starts to run away. I just still taking a lot of damage, but the, uh, the press attack helps him out a lot. And he was able to run away from here. And Mac, he just goes back to bot again. He just wants to keep on pushing there. Pasha will just keep on farming the jungle. No one, uh, he will, uh, he just finds his Aghanim, so he might look to, to blow someone up fairly soon. But Bobo, he just, uh, he's always looking for these dual victories, and so far he's not really been able to get those. He really needs to, uh, get a dual. He sees no one? Link? No. Link from uh, no one, really. So far, I haven't really seen the big plays with the uh, Koto Chakra magic cooldown. Uh, just oh, there you go. He will finally cast it. The uh, last, yeah, some easy farm going the way of uh, of Solo here. Pasha, he's still doing fine. So far, Fansec, he hasn't really been able to do a lot of ganks here. On the other hand, he's gonna get ganked. Oh, there's gonna be the death or there's gonna be the raw. He he pops his blade mill and he might actually be able to get out of this because no maledict on him. Now, why I've said he's gonna try and turn this one around. Sima, he's still here. He might want to get out of here. Well, in the meantime, Skyref, he gets killed. And as well as Bo Bo Bo, he gets killed as well as a double kill here on top. PL picking up one as well as no one. The other. Two skimmers just pretty much on the exact opposite side. Side of the map here. That's, uh, that's something else. And now Vega they're taking the back uh, the game the back into uh, their control. Everything starts going down. Wavix, well, he's still really big. He builds up in a BKB. Okay. Well, it's the same choice, but bookshot in solo. He's gonna take a spill here. No one he, does. He still have his blink. He does. He can blink out here. However, Sima walks in. He gets a maledict off onto Fensec here. There's gonna be the Sonic. And yeah, he is dead here by the World Axis and the Spirit Lens. Barsha picking it up. He already got his Diffuser Blade now, so he's gonna look for something aggressive here. Now the PO is online. Still, it's a really big mismatch versus the Gyrocopter, so... The Gyrocopter is still about 2k gold ahead of him, which is essentially... Well, invested in gold. So items-wise, they're, they're even. Oh, yeah, Tusk. 
This is going to be that uh, ski going to roll forward. He's going to go into push and into no one as well. He gets off a nice uh, barber punch there, but it's really to no appeal. Call down, gets through, but it just ends to ends up with just well stopping the fight here and push. He just goes back to farming again. Solo, he just needs fifteen hundred gold, and he already got his uh, his agonims. Team I still needs two K. And this is smoke into Russia. However, they might find Bobo. Oh, he blinks out just in time. Things coming out of the rush pit by, uh, by the Legion commander here. And yeah, this is uh, so far they're not <laughs> they're not going to be able to contest it. They're way too far away right now. Everybody spits out. Overwhelming us. It's three, but it's already too late. They got it already. And now he's a little bit too far forward. He pops his. Uh, it's Blade Mo here, but he is stuck. There is going to be the cast, but Siba is just going to take a fall here. Bobo is, yeah, Maledict won't take that. Pasha, oh, ho, 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 blown up. And now he needs to get away ASAP. Doppelganger, he gets pulls, pushes to the low ground, and then he just does a small doppelganger there. However, there is going to be the hookshot into him. Fester catching him out. Three seconds onto the doppelganger before he can get out. Walrus Punch is going to use him in as well. He's just going to take a fall here. Two for two trades so far. No one, no. PL does get the, uh, the kill into Skyrath though. Yeah, it's in favor of Centic for now and they also were able to just get out the... Uh, <coughs> yeah, the... The Aegis, which is, well, is sad. It's just sad for the... Uh, for the PL, he dies, lost Aegis. At least they were able to kill off Rush, got the gold, got the XP. But now, again, on the back foot, 3k ahead on the YFX, and he just starts to build up towards his uh, butterfly now. Which will make him really hard to kill. Once his BKB is on, his effective uh, HP pool is just going to be really, really high. Bottle Blast! Misses. Ooh, invisibility run on Tusk, but we have a hook in here on Sima. And yeah, he's gonna take a fall here. He does pop his uh, stick charges, but it's all to no feel. Well, at the same time, Queen of Pain, no one. He gets a kill onto the Legion Commander in the Radiant Jungle. Now, there's a beacon be popped here by, uh, by Zikwaf and T. He has no mana anymore. He's gonna get slowed down as well. Okay, there's gonna be the blinding, blinding light, and uh, Pasha can run away from here. Illuminati, eliminate. We're gonna hit. No one. He has to start running away. Blink forward. Power punch, and now he can just blink out. Yeah, still all in the uh, the favor of Vega for now. Pasha still farming fine. Oh, they still have to really do something about this uh, this YFX on the gyrocopter because he is pretty massive. He already got 14k in. And well essentially the whole team net worth is onto him and a little bit onto the uh, the Legion Commander, but yeah, what's what can he do? He needs to build up towards his BKB and even then what's the BKB gonna do? They have a lot of either physical damage or pure <laughs> damage. Essentially you only really Stop the uh, the cotto here, and yeah, a little bit of the cask bouncing. So, so far, yeah, Niji commander with just 14 damage. That's that's really low. 28 minutes in. That's yeah. Dare I say that it's just terrible. It's He's not having that his game. He, he they got a lot of kills with it, but he wanted damage. And now they're just always walking together, clustered up, and Baba he's just running around the map all the time, and just, it hurts his farm and it hurts his yeah his duels as well. But yeah, he kind of has to run around to find somebody. So my fix, he's just TPing uh, to top. Gonna farm the wave up there. Well, Mac, he's just gonna go to the uh, lane here. Gets a little bit of less hit. Start pushing it out a little bit more. He got his blink. He got his necro book. 
You might be looking at BOTs next. Well, yeah, still it's uh, trying to get a BKB here. Well, the Aghanims is already completed on Keepers of the Light. All the best. Nice. Always in your ultimate form. Gonna level it up to level 2 now. No, he's not. He's just gonna get... Uh, Where's he gonna get here? He's gonna get no one here. They know they're pinging out wards here. From both sides, a lot of pinging. There's not a lot happening. Bow bow. Oh no, bow. Oh, oh, you get jumped. And there's gonna be the shadow portion as well. Press attack use. He uses his uh, blade mill, but he's gonna get roared up as well. There's gonna be the necro book. There's gonna be a nice sonic wave catching out too. The death ward has just been channeled really, really shortly. And now bow is dead. Three, three dead on the side of Santic. Zero deaths for Vega. Vega's back in this. Well, they were already ahead. <laughs> but now they're gonna start taking down towers as well. Let's look what's the exact swing. 2.3k and about 4k XP here. Well, Vega, man, they're just gonna start uh, running the bottom here. They still have the Necro Book here. Well, Pasha takes the top tower. Doesn't get the last hit there. A little bit of missed uh, gold. But yeah. And with still three people down, they're gonna try and start to take a little bit, a little bit of damage into this here. For year. Pesha, he, do, uh, he will start running away. He has a Menta now as well. And what? Darwin just bought this BKB. It was a seven-second BKB for no reason at all. He was scared about the no ball from Tusk. That was really weird. Well. Hot. Pretty hot. <laughs> no one. Oh man. Is he gonna be refresher? That would be great. Anything on the courier to you know so far it could also be a link or anything else along those lines. But yeah man, I want to see the refresher that what is it, about eleven hundred pure damage? <laughs> Bobo, he tries to find Pesha and they might actually be able to do so. No doppelganger out. Blink forward. One second. He needs to do it under the tower now, and that's not gonna work. Oh no, Hookshot blocked there by the creep wave. Solo gets hit a little bit there. Sonic wave is used. And so far, it's only gonna be the LC falling. Fensec, he's also gonna be a sacrificial lamp here. There's already two death <laughs> deaths on the side of Santic again. Basha. 2100 gold he's he might go butterfly or uh, or half I would I won't say he should go half here there's still a lot of magical damage and that will just help them especially when you're looking to seize high grounds like that it's better to get a heart you can just keep on regening go out regen up go back in again a little bit of unhappy uh, thing there coming out and they're gonna, gonna focus down the melee rex here double ganger overwhelming us well, so far. Oh, there's gonna be the duel with blinding light as well. Bobo is not gonna kill no one here, and actually, he might take a spell here as well. And he's gonna die. Which don't kill him at off with the maledict. Oh, there's the hook shot in. He finds Mech, but yeah, Mech, he tries to get out of here, but uh, there is all of these creeps and everything. Yeah, Mech is dead here. This is gonna be 607 gold going the way of the gyrocopter here. Solo, he's next one to find. Oh no, no one, he blinked into that, and he just dies there as well. There was an aggressive blink in which wasn't needed at all. Now Pesha, he needs to start running away. He does have a doppelganger and he's not able to get it off. He's gonna die here as well, but not without at least taking uh, a double kill with him. Killing off ZJK here, Leslie. And that's actually five men dead on the side of Vega. Are they able to get the melee works? Yes, they were. Same as uh, two games ago. They're just gonna take structure by structure. And just starve you out. Look at this, they're already 12k ahead. This will... Yeah, equalized to about 8k here and about 6k on the on the XP in the end. But still, with three deaths, Santic isn't able to convert this into a, a tower push or anything of that sort. Mac, is he also good? Yeah, he's gonna go refresher again. We're gonna see a double refresher. We saw this as well in game one, the double refresh with the Queen of Pain as well as the uh, 
This is a beast monster, so I'm looking forward to seeing that one again. Solo, he already got his four staff. Great pickup versus Clockwork. We all know that. Yeah, this is gonna be a Queen of Pain refresher. Mac, he already got his BOTs as well. Forgot to mention that before. LC, he got the. He doesn't. Need, he still doesn't have his BKB yet, because of his buyback. Yeah, he might not even get that. He's not gonna get that before 40 minutes. Maybe 45 if he's lucky. Oh no. Pesk is gonna get a little bit of a mounted rain up him. He's gonna use uh, going around a little bit more Sonic Wave onto him. He's just standing still. They're taking this beating like a man. Mech comes in. And oh no, the hooks are into the Necro Creeps. That's not what he was supposed to be doing there. Aggressive uh, snowball forward, but it's gonna be Darts here by the Doppelganger ZJK. He's gonna take some damage here. Well, well, there's gonna be the gyro. Monster kill streak on him. <coughs> yeah, Bobo, he tries to get the PL here, Pasha, but he's able to get up Mac. Taking a lot of damage here from YZF, and he's gonna get a double kill. Solo, no, he's a little bit alone there. He's gonna get dueled up. There's gonna be the nice Mystic Flare as well. Three dead on the side of Vega. And this is gonna be the second dual win. For the Legion Commander, Bao Bao finally has plus 32 damage, which is still fairly neglectable at 35 minutes in. But still, great fight going the way of uh, of Santic, just losing their uh, the clockwork there. Just, just an offlane for, uh, well, the enemy offlane plus two supports is always a worthwhile trade, especially when you're behind. And now they're also maybe able to get rushed. Oh, ho, ho. they were low here. If no one actually just jumped in there, he was able to maybe kill of one or two there. And then just start running away. But still. The refresher dream for no one. This is gonna be soon here, about 1700 gold, 1600 gold of now and Mac, well. A little bit more. Because perseverance, he, uh, he still actually weighs off. Pesha, Diffuser Bait, level 2. Want to as well. He's gonna build the uh, Ascari. He just wants to make sure that he doesn't get kited around and with that it should work out though. It can be debuffed the press attack so he needs to make sure that his uh, attacks are constant. There you go, he needs to use press attack again to just start running away. It's a fusel blade, the mana. Ugh. Solo, he is getting no one to him again. Nice, uh, <laughs> nice Sonic Wave there, stealing the creeps. He had the regen regeneration run anyway, and we have a... Well, we have Pesha here. Well, he just DC'd while farming up the enemy. Uh... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, the enemy uh, Asians. So. We're gonna wait a little bit for him to get back into this. And while we're at it, we're gonna just take a look at all of them and holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Divine Rapier on the Gyrocopter. Man, I was really wondering, he has 2300 gold, he is massive, what does he have while well, he has this? And yeah, he's gonna start doing a lot of damage here. This is gonna be tough. It's Divine. Oh my god. This is just going to be so tough to play against. It will just completely clear out pretty much all of the illusions with just one black cannon hit. And yeah, if he maybe had a, a butterfly now or some evasion, that yeah. Still, they need to make sure if they have somebody locked down. Yeah, he will die for sure. But on the other hand, they can also still blow up the uh, gyrocopter, and they just need to make sure that there are always at least three to four people around him. There's no, they just can't leave him alone anymore. And Agonims into it might be Shadow Bait or a uh, <coughs> or it might yeah it might just be a Glimmer Cape as well possibility of death from uh, Sima Mac 
as I said, he's still building towards his... Uh, He's just gonna start building up towards his uh, refresher still, like. No one, he. Uh, got a K gold off, so low. He already got everything he wants. See him, uh, yeah. Pfft. Once he get the, the follow up item for the Shadow Blade here, he also got everything that he wants. Oh my god, this boss. Scooby-Doo, guys. Scooby-Doo. If you guys also have some other uh, fun movie quotes or something, just put it in. Um, I might just make... Uh... Yeah, I might just make a nice, nice comment about it. I will make the comment in your name, as long as your name is uh, acceptable. And yeah, what we're gonna be looking at. It's gay. So far. Yeah, big swim back in the favor of Centic, but still Vega is ahead. However, Centic is still ahead on the uh, is again ahead, I mean of course to say. On the XP. And there we go, we're back into it. Game is resumed. Some people are saying he got the Define 10 minutes ago. I don't think he did. But he did have it for a time, yes. I completely whiffed on, uh, on seeing that. Sorry. Um, no window clicker. Uh, window tickers, I mean. Uh, SFC won their match. 2-0. And uh, this uh, range break is actually quite taking quite some damage here from the uh, from the melee necro book here. But uh, the reaction is here on bottom. Oh no, that was a messy clear into a BKB that doesn't really help at all. And it's going to be a death skyrim place already. Tier three taking some damage. They just use uh, <clears throat> the illusions for now. Tima he goes in this. He runs away because he doesn't want to be in this. Oh, ho, 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 that hook shot was close. And it is going to back up for now. They uh, they take their wins. About half health now on the uh, range where accent, about 25% off. They took that off of the uh, tier 3 on bottom. Bottle, here's another K gold. Yeah, that's gonna be this finished Kadi for uh, Pasha here. It's gonna be delivered to him now. He's also pretty big, pretty big. Well, I still need to see the team fight where the uh, Define will shine or, well, or if they will lose the Define there. He also has Satanic now, so it's really tough to kill him off now. Between the Butterfly, Satanic, Define, BKB, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to go through. Uh, <laughs> oh, the split push is real here. They're trying to do for a base race here, but they have the Necrobus already and they're just... Already took out the tier 3 tower here, and okay, no. Dusk will be uh, allowed to live, and they just go for the, the straight for the tier uh, force here already. They just want to force the TP rotations back, but yeah, this is going to be a base race here. Neither of the sides are, are willing to give up, and the first tower is down, both towers are down. Who's going to win this? They have a little bit of time left here onto the Necronomicon. Dusk is just buying time here with Snowball and punches the Divine here, doing a lot of damage. Of work here for ZIF, he pops his uh, satanic, but he's not able to get a lot of blessing off. And oh, look at this! Start taking off damage. This is actually the kill there. This is this game is going to be won. Yes, is this game going to be won by Santic? No help. No. Is he able to get off? Is he taking a lot of damage? No. <coughs> he still has the Aegis. He's surrounded. They need to buy back. They need to get everybody here to help him out. But now he's still alone fighting up here. He doesn't have his satanic. He just got blinding light. He's gonna miss a lot of attacks and he's gonna die here. Oh no! Whoa! Both Asians about half HP? And. Well, that's a Divine on the PL. He just overtook the. Uh, 
Is there over this? Whoa! This, uh... What? Russia? Is this gonna start burning down the middle lane? There's no Aegis on either side. Rush needs 5 more minutes, and they got the Divine. They have all the ultimates. And they might just need to buy back here fairly soon onto the Gyro. They're gonna rotate bot here with Pasha to get the tower. They're gonna... No, they're not gonna put the uh, economical units on that. They're just gonna take uh, take their bot racks, at least to try and attempt to do that. And there's gonna be the duo in, but Bo Bo Bo, he just gets blown up on the other side. That's gonna be some damage towards Pasha. Plus 18 damage for him. ZJK, he's taking a lot of damage here. Just look at this Divine doing work here. Now ZYFX, or YFX, he's gonna get called out with the roar here and he's gonna die as well. This is uh, GG. Babo, he ca he types it out. LC, he just uh, he just went out of the match straight away. He was on with this. He with his 50 damage, he didn't have a nice game there. And some Russians being saying to each other, I don't know what it is, but. Oh. oh my god. They got they were the favorites. They did win it 2 to 1. They had to dig fairly deep for it though. But yeah, essentially the LC didn't pay off at all and was just a really big nuisance and losing in that base race. Losing your Divine Raper, yeah. And even getting it onto the PL there, that's just GG guys. Oh my god. Well, this was the East Portal open qualifier number four. I was well, I'm Sander, I'm a caster of Swiss DC and Rasmus TV. I casted this uh, quarter final for you. I'm gonna look at the, uh, well, the brackets real fast. The brackets are open. And who will they be playing off versus next? I think it's... Ugh, these brackets are so big. Synthetic one here. So yeah, they are going to be matched up versus Scary Faces. So the semi-final is going to be between Scary Faces and Vega. I hope all of you guys are going to be looking out for that. It will be casted onto the... Uh, well, on the eSportal channel again. I just uh, filled in here, filled into the gaps for them. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys again soon. Tomorrow, by the way, for the MTC, we'll have... Probably one or two matches, so make sure that you tune in here again as well. Follow us as well, and... Well. Awesome. See you guys later then. I'm gonna put on some music and talk a little bit in the chat.